Christian has been working closely with groups like the um, Oregon Business Association. Uh, they get the fact that, like, you know, we're ravaging the state budget, and the o Oregon Business Association cares a lot about the way we're investing in public um, the, the communities of Oregon because this is also, you know, it's not just the uh, our education budgets that are being ravaged by the legislators, it's also the social safety. Um, so, Criminal justice issues are not their issues, but the, um, the stuff that it's going to become harder and harder and harder for them to like protect. I mean, it's, it's really essential for us. So I'd say there's there's real support there. You know, I have what I haven't talked about. What are the policies that help shift? Um, you know, our this this massive prison bill. So I just want to give you a couple of exa examples. So um, the truth of the matter is, our opponents. Like, you know, they're real. There's real opposition to this. And although there's just a few groups, like the District Attorney's Association, um, and uh, the Organization of Crime Alliance, which is kind of against the front group, the guy was responsible for putting the uh, crime into the organization called Crime Victims United. That's pretty much the opposition. But they're, they're a powerful force. Is, uh, they're going to use fear, basically, to say, like, okay, what, to really address this, the policy reforms are, you know, are going to put um, scared people in the streets and actually make us less so, so, right now, there's something called earn time. And if you're not serving a mandatory uh, minimum measure 11 sentence, then you can actually earn time while you're in 30%. Um, so, if you're like participating in, in programs, uh, you know, um, that like whether they're um, educational programs, treatment programs, those are the type of thing, things that, that can help you earn time off. Actually, is a smart policy for two reasons. Uh, you know, if you're in, if you're in prison and like you can't do a damn thing to earn time off your sentence, what's your incentive to actually participate? I mean, there are people who do all the time to actually turn their lives around. But like, what earn time does is it actually provides incentive for people to participate in some of the programs that are going to help. Um, so, if, and that people who receive it are less likely to receive it. So why wouldn't we want to give people access to earn time? Um, which are the measure 11 sentences. So if we just actually gave people, like, you know, who are serving measure 11 sentences, access to earn time, um, you know, uh, that would be a, a, a super smart reform. And uh, it would be, it would make the system work better. It would increase the system, so it would increase crime. Um, and is uh, youth who have, have measure long sentences who are convicted as 15, 16, uh, 16, 17. There's a policy called Second Look, which is for judge. And make the case that they've been work, working really hard on the inside, and then the, the judge would be able to make a decision, OK, yeah, that, that's right. We're going to let you serve the second half of your, your sentence in like uh, post prison supervision. You know, but under certain, but um, but second look actually, you know, it would give young people an opportunity just to, if they make success and make a case, to serve the second half of their sentence. Um, you know, uh, in the community under supervision, a really smart sentence. Uh, I'm sorry, policy because what we've learned is that if you put. Uh, young people in the adult system, they're much more likely to commit a, a future crime. So why would so why would we do that?